So today I just thought I would get ready and film it for you today. <laughs> today is just a kind of chill day, but I just wanted some makeup on. But you know, whenever you start natural, you always end up like full on glam. So I'm probably gonna do a full on glam today. <laughs> I wanted to wear this lipstick. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Cherry Skies. I love this lipstick. And I know it's more of a fall color, but I just want to wear it. So, I really don't know what I'm going for today. So, I'm just going to put some stuff on my face. All of my, like, all of my good brushes are dirty right now, so I'm just kind of winging it. I'm taking the usual e.l.f. shadow lock primer. Just blending that in. I think I'm going to use the Naked 2 palette today. I haven't used that in a really long time. And I probably should throw mine away because it's so old. And I know makeup expires. Like, look how beat up this is. <laughs> I probably should get a new one. But, you know what? It's okay today. Let's see. I'm going to take the shade Boxy and put that on my lids to set the primer. I'm probably just going to use this brush from the Naked 3 palette throughout this entire video for my eyes. Like I said, my other brushes are dirty, so it's the only one I have to use. I wasn't really planning on doing this today, but you know what? It's okay. Now I'm taking T's right here, putting that into my crease as my kind of transition shade. to take snake bite right here you can tell the colors that I always use <laughs> this is like my first hot this was like my first high-end makeup thing ever that I ever got and I love it it's just really old what was your first high-end product that you ever got I love to know stuff like that about people so we can just share our thoughts and our just share stuff why not so tell me to busted which is busted up <laughs> right here this used to be the only color I would use for my eyeliner like I would line my eyes with this color only when I put this into my crease just like on the outer portion just to deepen it out a little bit. Where are you guys from? I like to know where my followers and subscribers are. Not that I have a huge following, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I just like to, I'm curious. I love, one of my favorite things ever is knowing where people are from to see how our cultures differ. I mean, even though if you're just from Louisiana, I'm from Mississippi, so I mean, even if you're just like next door to me, it's still cool to see where people are from. And I'm just rambling. I don't know, I had too much coffee this morning, so I'm probably just gonna be rambling on in this video. Hopefully you don't mind that. Now I'm just gonna clean off the tip of this brush and blend out everything so it's nice and seamless. Like I said in my previous videos, I have a mirror like right up here that holds my ring light. So if I'm always looking up or to the side of the camera, it's because of my mirror up there and I can see myself a little bit better than just this little mirror or my other mirror. If you even wanted to know that. 
Let's one. see, what lid color do I want to use? I loved this shade, which is booty call, <laughs> but I don't even think I can get my brush in there. So I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use half baked today. I think that would be pretty with that red lipstick. I'm just gonna put half baked all over my lid. Forget how pretty this palette is. I still need to buy the original Naked palette. Is that sad that I don't have? I have every other one but the original. Now I'm just taking the end of this brush again and just blending into my crease. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of Busted and put a little bit more on the outer crease area and then I'm going to bring it onto my outer portion of my lid right here just to have a little bit more depth. And this helps blend the lid color in with the crease colors. It's probably, I look like I'm slouching. I'm not meaning to slouch. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more of T's shade and go around everything else one more time. Right, just to make sure it's beautifully blended, if that can be even possible for me. Okay, so I'm going to take this um, little brush. It looks like this. I'm not sure where it came from. It has no name on it. I just have it. Um, and I'm going to take the Maybelline Eye Studio and I'm going to line my eyes off camera because it's really, really hard to line it and get in focus and frame and everything. So I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and added some falsies. These are the Eyelore in Vegas Nay um, Easy Elegance Lashes. I love these lashes. They're just so pretty. Um, so if you see any white, that's just the blue. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the Smashbox Primer Water. I feel like I could just do this all day long and just spray it on my face all day long. It feels that good. And I'm using the e.l.f. Coreless um, Base Primer. And since I have a little bit of redness in my face, I'm using the NYX um, HD Concealer. And I guess that's the name of it. I guess it's in the shade green, so <laughs> that's very creative. <laughs> but I'm... I can't open it! What the heck? Ugh. <laughs> uh. There we go. I'm just putting this on some of the spots that I have, like all right in here. It's just gross and red. I'm using this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I'm taking the NYX Dark Circle Concealer of the Real Technique Sponge. I'm just kind of swirling it in, in there and dabbing under my eyes. I feel like I could have a better product than this. If you have dark circles sometimes, let me know what kind of products you use to conceal them. 
um, that's like a color corrector. Because I feel like, I mean, this feels like it works, but then again, I, I kind of don't really see much of a difference, but I'm just trying to use it up. because I. Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Pro Glow and Infallible Pro Glow. And I'm just putting this on my hand. I'm taking my sponge and just putting that all over my face. My hair looks awful, you guys. It's still wet. <laughs> I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. In this shade, I think this is transparent, yeah. Transparent, because you know, I'm transparent. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And I'm just taking the dark brown shade. Move my mirror. I'm filling in the middle to the tail of my brow. And usually I just use one dip into the color so I don't put too much. And then I just use whatever's left over on the front of my brow because you don't want that to be too harsh. All right, now I'm going to take the highlight shade from this thing and just put this underneath my brow. Just a highlight. It's actually a really pretty highlight shade. Now I'm going to contour. I'm going to be using the Little Rock Contour Palette and my light shade is all gone so I'm having to use this one. And I'm going to take the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Or Benefit Hoola, you know what I mean. I'm taking this, I'm just going over that just to deepen it out, not being as precise. I hate this brush, it sh shreds, <laughs> it sheds like crazy. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. Most of their brushes are fairly good though. I don't know about this one though. I'm taking my little sponge and taking both of these highlighting shades. I'm using the Milani Eight Blush and Luminoso. Love it. The Wet n Wild highlight, I could not think. The Wet n Wild baked highlight in Hollywood Boulevard. Now 
gonna do underneath my eyes. I'm just taking the end of this brush from the Naked 3 palette and I'm going in with Busted down here, this Busted Up shade. And I'm just lining. Okay, so my camera overheated, but I wasn't through doing what I was doing anyway. After I lined my eyes with Busted, I got to line it a little bit more right there. I took T's, put this in, and blended it out. Just like that. And now I'm going to take a little bit of um, Half Baked and Chopper mixed together and put that in my inner corner. Okay, so now I'm going to use some mascara and I'm taking the Maybelline Rocket mascara and I'm just going to go over that real quick just to blend in my falsies or my little, just to blend my real lashes with my falsies. Now I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick and Cherry Skies and just applying that to my lips. And that is the look. I hope you enjoyed what I came up with today. Like I said, I didn't have anything specific planned. So this is just what I came up with. Um, I hope you like this kind of video. If you do like this video, like me talking and just babbling on, just give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me next. And I will see you next time.